general evaluation. So please help me in welcoming DTM, our leader. Toastmasters for a particular reason. They move forward and at a particular time they wish to quit because they feel that either they have done very, very well or they are not learning or probably it's not their priority. But the essence of Toastmasters comes when you start doing it the way you need to do it. And the moment you start doing it the way you do it, you will never quit from Toastmasters. That is why that saying comes. If you know what you can get out of Toastmasters, you will never get out of Toastmasters. I normally write this, this script of my speeches late in the evening, late in the night, sometimes when probably it's 2 o'clock in the morning. And when I wrote my previous speech for the contest last year, which I went up to the district level, it was late in the night, the first time I was scripting that, and it was a real story. And when you start writing your real story, you start feeling it. Your brain has to work because your brain is giving you the ideas. But the day you write your speech with your heart in it, that's when you realize what this masters is all about. So at that time, I was going through a very, very difficult time in my life. And I was writing about laugh and the world laughs with you. And then while walking with some friend that night in the evening, I was talking about laugh and the world laughs with you. Weep and you weep alone. Some of this doesn't rhyme because you don't weep alone. There are a lot of people who are watching you weep. So I thought, why not change it? And I thought of that particular line which said, laugh and the world laughs with you. Weep and the world laughs at you. And I started writing the script. Believe it or not, by 4.30 when I finished in the morning, I did not realize but that my t-shirt was wet. I had cried out through while I was writing. Today there were two things which happened in this in this meeting. Number one, when I read Prabhish's speech when I was mentoring him, I almost cried. But then you could notice that Pravish came here, got emotional, and he cried. That shows that Pravish has put in a lot of effort into his speech. Whether you vote for him as best speaker or not, it doesn't matter. What Pravish has achieved today is really get what he is supposed to get out. Of Toastmasters. Give him a wonderful hand. He talks to you very well. He analyzes the situation beautifully. And such person can be one of the best evaluators you can ever have. Today, the evaluator who came and evaluated Pravish's speech, he lived the speech from within. He analyzed the speech so well that I think this evaluation is something which you can even take up to the international level and even there, the entire audience of two to two and a half thousand people will vote for him. Today, whether you vote or not, doesn't matter. He again has proved what we can get out of those masters. <laughs> the third part is the chose master of the evening. The preparation started the moment we finished the previous meeting. Voluntary taking over of the role as toast master of the evening. Sincerely saying I will do it. And from that day onwards till now, lovely preparation 
beautiful follow-up with everybody, excellent way of introducing the concept and also introducing the people over here. Look at the attendance which we have today. Look at the way people have come in to actually believe in him, to see what he has done. I think Amar has believed those masters. Amar has put in a lot of effort. And not only Amar, I appreciate his mentors also, who are here, who are helping him, and they are together moving forward. Well done, master. We really liked in the meeting today. In a meeting, normally you need to have a humorist, a joke master to keep you running around. Yeah. I can assure you, in business excellence course masters, when you have two people, one on my left and one on my right, you don't need a joke master. <laughs> one is the table topic master. <laughs> he literally made sure that the table topic session was full of humor. Forget the speaker who was speaking. You don't need to bother about that. Full marks to this guy. But, We are so used to now. And he's somebody who we want him to come on stage again and again and again. The moment he comes on stage, we start smiling. He has a very serious face. He doesn't <laughs> smile by the way. Yeah? And he makes sure that everybody smiles throughout the meeting. His way of handling things, his way of speaking to people, and the way he brings in the natural things from the people is a special thing which he has got in his life. Well done. Keep it Project speeches today, all three were mentored. That is why you could see a lot of difference in the way those project speeches were done. You now see the effect of the mentors when the speakers are actually getting to them, when the role players are understanding their role the mentors. That is why you can visualize quality meetings today. Really. The evaluations were super, on the dot, exactly evaluating what you need to evaluate from the speeches. Table topics for me today were slightly a disappointment. If, if out of the five speakers I need to score who attacked the topic, one and a half speakers out of the five attacked the topic. The table topic master was the best, five out of five. And I will go through the table topic speakers one by one, just to let you know where you could hit. The topic to Raga was perseverance, passion and motivation. Which of these qualities is most important for a leader? That means you have to choose one. Regardless of how you want to speak about a leader, whichever way you believe in a leader, the question is, out of the three, which one is necessary? You can't even say all three are necessary. It clearly says which of these qualities, that means any one, and you need to speak on that one. You started off very well, but then eventually you went off on a tangent talking about a leader in the way you feel the leader should be. When you attack table topics, and especially on the stage, you've already been in ICTC, you now know how people judge you. All right, on the sheets. In the table topic competition judging sheet, they will look at whether you really attack the topic or not and whether you stood by the topic. Right? So you should attack one of them. Does communication help you to be a leader? Shiva, we spoke very well. Why did you not continue? You should continue. You had started off very well. You were confident and around 30 seconds of the video shows that you are on the right track. But after that probably you saw somebody who was fighting you with the audience. I don't know. I'm not used to the crowd anymore. Ah, so you, you started looking <laughs> at all of them. You know, initially when I started Toastmasters in 1998, my mentor told me, you know, when you go in front of an audience, there is a good way of thinking that they are all very, very good, so don't make eye contact with them. But there is also a bad way of doing things. And the bad way is think of all of them as idiots and you are the best. <laughs> and when you think like that, you will really do well. Okay? So don't look at them. If you are looking at them, then look through them. Don't look through the eye, to the eyes, look through the eyes, you'll do better. Leadership is sometimes innovation, but sometimes the box is empty. What will you do? Honestly, he spoke about innovation. But the question was, sometimes the box is empty. And when the box is empty, what will you do? You really need to have the listening power here. The moment you get lost, because in long topics, when you get a long topic, you are not only listening, you are preparing yourself for the next line. What should I speak on? And while your mind is thinking of what should I speak on, you forget to listen to the second part of the speech. The first part of the speech is leader is sometimes innovation. That's what you spoke about. But the second part was box is empty. What will you do when it is empty? Okay? Are you a leader? You are that half person who I put who attacked the topic. Okay? You actually spoke very well about who is a leader what qualities the leader should have and then eventually you came up and summarized it that this is the type of leader you wanted to be. 
As you go along, you get more and more confident. Don't worry. This book worry. Who is the leader in your life you inspire? Undoubtedly the only person who attacked the topic. He spoke about all the qualities of a leader. And then he went and actually spoke about Khalid bin Walid. I will never forget this name because I live on Khalid bin Walid. <laughs> okay. And I also know that the Bajuman station, because they didn't pay money to RTA, for around five years it was named as Khalid bin Walid station. <laughs> and the moment they gave money, it became Bajuman station. <laughs> so, he is a leader. And he has been following that. He even expressed why he should follow that leader. What sort of looks it? So, again, whether you voted for the best speaker or not. The person who really attacked the topic and spoke very well. Well done. The silent role players today, we had three. One of them I have already spoken about, the table topic speaker, uh, table topic master. The other one is the timekeeper of the evening. I think he's been very, very silent. He's done very well. Fantastic. Give him a round of applause. I advise to be it here to the XCOM specifically. Some of you should go to Vijayaraki to his masters and sit in their meetings, alternate Fridays. This is the only club which has really given a lot of importance to the timers. They know that the timer has to listen also to the speakers and they should not get lost. So what they do is normally have two timers in every meeting. One of them writes down the timings, the other one manages the timing on the device. And they also explain before each session how you control the timings for those sessions. The Dijrati is a hallmark. XCOM, please visit Dijrati. They make the content in Friday's. Well done. Please invite them. Please invite them. They're in it. January 15. January 15. Alright. The other silent role player or a sort of an active role player was the word master today. Perseverance. Yeah. A lot of people did not see what you were doing before the meeting. Some of us saw. But the progression. Even though it was, I could say last minute, but he came up with the word, how the word originated, how the word can be used in different ways, and also made you speak in our robin session on that particular word. Eventually, he also counted the number of times we have used the word. Well done. Keep it up. Now for the second part of my address, we have finished six months.